Plaid Dad in the building. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, Plaid Dad working guy vibes in the building, aka Walmart drip. But beautiful fall day, we're entering the rough side of town, but uh, I'm a little bit hungry and I feel like a&W keto style burgers, maybe a little chicken tender, maybe a little three piece chicken tender because a little bit of breading won't hurt nobody. We're moving into calories in, calories out. We're still keeping it fairly keto and low carb, but I think I'm gonna start mixing it up with like, not as strict on the carbs, still kind of, but a little bit not because at a certain point it just does come to calories in calories out and as long as i'm getting my steps and i'm doing my fasting and i'm eating the right amount of things in the meal we good so i'll show you the rough side of town maybe perhaps right now although the mountain and the nature of fall is quite beautiful well never mind the area i was in the trains were blocking you couldn't really see the mountain it looked like industrial and run down and really shitty and very northern ontario northwestern ontario very very almost pretty much like this like just very depressed <laughs> style vibes so it didn't work out but uh, if you do drive to the mountain it is beautiful but we're not really going that way <laughs> Cause we gotta go drop off Amazon returns. I fucking, is anybody else just, does a, do Amazon returns semi plague your entire life or kind of life? I don't know. They have been kind of the, the bane of my existence over the last little while, but I gotta say the return policy, how quickly everything happens and all that shit, it is good, but I just hate doing all the I don't know, the label and the printing and the going to the place. I just wish a drone would come and pick it up. <laughs> Take it away as easy as it came, you know? Where I live, there's always mad old folks at the uh, at the, the post office where you take it to to return it. The city I live, the town I live in or whatever you want to call it, I'm not even sure what it is. I guess it's called a city technically. Uh, <laughs> it uh th these people there's no sense of urgency here at all people just dilly dally take their time it is molasses around here even at like the self checkouts like people like don't even have the mental capacity to somehow just scan a few items and boop a card like i i just get so society dumbfounds me so often <laughs> i'll just sometimes be like how do you how did you manage to to own a house or a vehicle or anything when like the simplest task seems to be rocket science for you i don't know it's crazy anyways these are my uh, frustrations coming out i'm not trying to be a huge dick but like I'm sure we all experience the shit, right? When we're out, you just, you kinda, you look at some individuals and you just go, are you on autopilot? Like, are you not, is there nothing, is there nothing happening up top right now or what's going on? Cause it just, sometimes I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Anyways, we're arriving to uh, drop off my shit and then we eat. Hey. We are craving some lettuce wrap teens though, I can tell you that. Craving the teens. I choked so hard because here's why. This is why I choked. Because AW's chubby chicken strips are way out of control. Three strips for seven dollars. Or five strips for $9.49. Or you can get a chicken wrap, like in a tiny little tortilla, little cheese, little lettuce, little sauce for $2.79. Yeah, I'm not playing that chicken figure game, no fucking way. The lettuce wrap teens are already 
hefty enough, they already run you a pretty, pretty penny. Two lettuce wrapped uh, Dean birds and a little chicken chicken uh, wrap for, I think it was $19. Don't eat in Canada, especially in today's economy. Holy shit. And gas here right now is insane. I don't know what it's like for everybody else, but world's falling apart, man. Ugh, it's so bad. It's the, it's the highest I've ever seen. Man, parking lots are just so not my energy, man. They are such a scary place. They just freak me right out, buddy boy. <laughs> Holy. Not, not what I like at all. Very terrifying. Scarifying even. Tell you what. I could tell you what. Pulling it in. Is this a good good lighting? Do we have okay lighting? Are we gonna look like shiitake mushrooms here or what? It's hard to say, bud. It's hard to say. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. We're, we're parking. I don't got the patience for this shit today. <laughs> Having an off day. Not really. It's actually not not that bad. <laughs> All right, y'all, officially situated. How are we feeling, first off, about the holla holla pop cola <laughs> on the uh, on the worker slash uh, Canadian apparel drip? I'm into it. All right, here you go. This is uh, keeping it. Low carb is a fast food option, I do say. A&W keeps it legit in this category. These are delicious. I'm super down. And I have not had a piece of like burger meat in so long I just been on this chicken. But yo, oh no, pickle down. Man, that to me right now is so easily as good as like even any regular burger. That's amazing. Mm. Much needed. So, because I have officially basically failed at all my dreams I've ever had in life, <laughs> I've been uh, hunting down job up, uh, prospects, I'll say. And what's crazy is I actually saw A&W was hiring for cashier cook position. What blew my mind about it, though, is they were paying 19 an hour for that position, which is crazy. And I say this because there's other postings for other jobs that pay like $3 less, like 16 an hour, like 15, 50, which is like, I think minimum wage here is 14, 60 or something like that. And there's people advertising for like managerial positions and things that are like, that you would normally think would pay you know, closer to 19 or 20, but uh, a cashier cook at A&W is taking care of their people, it seems. It's either that, or they're absolutely desperate for staff. As desperate as I am for this. Beautiful burger, I know.
It always gets complicated near the ass end with these though. Because the drip starts happening. And then it gets crazy, hard to evade. Just because the water content of the lettuce, you don't have a bun to soak anything. It's a definite downfall of the protein style option, maybe we can call it. Or just do we say lettuce wrapped? All right. So here is the little chicken wrap. And uh, looks nice. Bacon quality is nice. Everything's real nice. So yo, anyways, I did actually apply to this one. I want to, I want to, it's been a long time since I've like, had to live a life where I work around a ton of people and I want to do something that feels kind of independent. So I've been looking for like driving jobs, like, cause I feel like for the most part you'll be alone. You can just kind of get to run your own ship to some degree. And there was this part like third party parcel delivery. So you're an independent contractor use your own vehicle but you were just it was just amazon parcels on behalf of another main uh, courier service talked to the guy and everything and he was like yeah it's you make like 250 300 a shift usually and you you start at like seven and you're done by usually 12 or sorry you start at eight and you're usually done by like 12 31 o'clock five hours of course they didn't have a gas incentive or whatever so gas is out of pocket so that would play into that money for sure hard but I was all set to go. He just he he sent me this shit, and then I had to get a background check. I don't have anything wrong with my background check, but it came back as failed. So I call him. I'm like, shouldn't be an issue. I don't know what's going on. And he said on his side, it just said in the system that they couldn't fully confirm my identity because. There's too many people with my similar or same name or something like that. And I was like, oh, like, is this like a normal or common occurrence? He's like, I've only ever seen it like four or five times. And he's like, every time that it happens, <clears throat> uh, the only option that you have, we've had to send guys, you have to book fingerprinting with your local authorities. And because it's like, not it's like extra processing it's out of your pocket and it can take a bunch of time and it just sucked because I was like the job seemed very suitable for me I love the idea of the hours like uh, five hours I love the idea of you know, just being in my own vehicle, just whipping around, delivering parcels, just kind of doing my own thing and making some okay money. And it's like, of course, I don't know, the fucking universe or whatever just sniped me hard. So I'm on the hunt again. But I got a couple places that I'm um, 
looking to hit. Wow. Mailed in the face so hard. See, that's my current life status to some degree. Just, uh, looking for something suitable while I have a little bit of luxury to do so because I don't want to just go hop into some bullshit. Like I want to find something that's like actually going to be relatively semi enjoyable because I mean, if you're not working a, like your dream career or, a, you know, living, you know, living your dream, then really any job that you do is going to be like tolerable at best. Like you want to make the best of it, but you also want to find something that feels at least like it suits you as a person. And for me, that would be probably cooking and restaurant stuff, but for the moment, I kind of don't want to go back into that world, especially right now with how that world is with, you know, how germs and everything and the absolute uncertainty of that industry and the hours. And all the fuckery that comes along with it. And also if it's like if I spend most of my time back in a restaurant, it's like am I gonna lose interest in trying to do anything on this channel like will I, will I even want to cook anymore ever at all all things to consider and I also I'm just at the point where I, I really want to work something that's like I just know my schedule is set <laughs> and it's not like ever changing from day to day it's like you start when you start and you get off when you get off. You know, restaurant industry, it's like the nights are always variable. Could end up staying really late. Could have a bit of an earlier night. But it's usually you end up staying really late, depending on what happens. But I don't know. I wish I had a napkin or something here, like a, like a wet nap, because these did get quite sloppy. So I don't know what I'm really gonna do about this. I, it's good that I'm a left-hand driver with one hand, pretty much. All right, random outing, nice day, little life update. Also on that note, this is me swallowing pride. I did put up a, a uh, what did I call it? giving to groceries fund uh just while like you know the channel's not doing the hottest trying to cook still trying to cook uh just kind of it's this is a pride thing for me like i don't really i hate asking for support or help or anything but I did put up a GoFundMe for an X amount of money, but it's, it's, it's the, the idea behind it is for over a certain amount of like time, like for a couple months worth of 
of videos you know it's not it was like some upfront amount of like i'm just trying to have uh, possible support over the next little while just as something to tap into kind of to, to help fuel cooking videos more or less because uh yeah just channels on slow mode and i'm just trying to figure out the rest of this life that i have to navigate and get back into and everything so anyways no obligatory only if you can only if you have any means really appreciate it outside of that you guys know i'm never i don't i've never begged for likes or subscribes or anything like that so this is simply just be a help to your guy for a little time being that's all so till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true the friggin boys dropping off a buck eh great right that i meet shop the boys a couple of local veggies if you like this content please like comment and subscribe as well as check out my pin comment down below to find other ways to support this channel thank you for watching eat good live well and stay true